look at this. Isn't it sad how they have this plasma center in the, mid in the middle of the hood, y'all? In the middle of the freaking hood. Sucking our life away. It's just terrible, man. It's terrible. <sighs> I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. So, it feels good to be out in the sun today. has changed, if anything. There goes the sun, yay! Feel like a plant is sprouting when the sun hits my melanin. So I walk like 1.8 miles to get here. And I feel great. I'm seeing what's going on on this side of town, this neck of the woods. See my view. Oh, it's thundering and lightning and raining there. Well, that's great. It was doing that same thing, I think, earlier this week, too. But it didn't last for long, though. You know, the thunder and the lightning is very calming. I wouldn't be surprised if we get some thunderstorms when I'm in Florida. Can't you see? You are meant for <laughs> nature walk. <laughs> I know, I love taking my nature walks, right? We need to. Can't I can't survive without walking. I think it's in my blood because my mom told me she used to walk a lot. You know how our parents be, they be like, in my day, back in my day, I walked all the way to school. I walked five miles to school and five miles back home. I'm like, shit, I bet you did. I think it's just in my blood to do a lot of people. Mindlessly, too. Like it's nothing. I don't even realize how far you've been to walk. You walk a whole goddamn marathon. And you're like, damn. You don't even feel it. <laughs> I like going hiking. Like up an incline. Let's see here. Let's see if this guy is still over here. <sighs> oh, I look great. Thank you. <laughs> You gotta take care of yourself, you know. I drink lots and lots of water. <sighs> yeah, you gotta walk a lot. Walk, walk, walk. Bring them on camera. You know what? I haven't like gone um, live with anyone 
think I did it twice in my entire career of vlogging. I went live with someone. All right, let me see this guy. He used to sell coconuts. Let's see if he has any. Let's see sugar cane. Oh, there he is. Hi. I want to get a coconut. I've been here before. Yeah. Open it. Yeah. Can you open it for me? You say you walk all your life. No, oh, that's right. I'm glowing. Oh yeah, I'm glad that it's hot though. This is what I've been waiting for. I need to get out more. I got out a lot more last summer than this summer. Well, the summer is still here, right? So I still have time to get out. Tan the skin. I definitely got to get several shades darker. Yeah. You glad you did? Yeah, because once you start young, like walking and being um, active, it's easy when you get older. It's just like become part of your routine. Yeah. How much? I forget. How much is it? Eight. Eight dollars. Perfect. Ice and cold? Yeah. How do you keep it cold? Is it a refrigerator? Cooler, yeah. A cooler? Oh, perfect. Thank you. Wait. Okay. Here my look. Thank you. Here you With all the accidents I hear and see every day, I'm kind of glad I did things now. Yeah, I had to get, look, y'all got me a um, coconut. I went to the store just to get cash back for this, because I don't carry cash on. Yeah, I got sweet. You can pay your pocket. Look what I got. You can pay your pocket. Looky here, looky, looky. Yes, he gave me a big one too. <laughs> But it don't be like this. It don't be this kind of coconut. It'd be much smaller than this. It'd be like the commercialized coconut. So I know other spots to come to get what I need. But I did find a um, jerk place, a Caribbean place, the other day in my neighborhood. That's a couple streets over. That got that Caribbean jerk chicken and the rice and peas and the plantain and the and the um oh the festival bread they gave me some fresh festival bread it tastes so good yes honey it's a cute little spot out and about wild rice and plantains yeah I'm such a girly girl haha <laughs> you think so haha <laughs> I think I'll be switching back and forth sometimes I'm a girly sometimes I cross my legs sometimes I sit gap legged in a motherfucker it just depends on my mood 
I used to fight with my mom when I was younger because she wanted to put barrettes in my hair. And I hated those barrettes. I'm like, take this shit out. She used to force me to wear dresses. I hated that. I'm like, come on. I don't like it. She wanted to feminize me. And I was more androgynous. Well, I was more tomboy. I like to, um... I don't look at it as tomboy. I look at it as being natural. Like, doing just natural stuff. Climbing fences, climbing trees. I used to climb trees better than the boys. I didn't look at it like, oh, this is what girls should do. This is what boys should do. I braid my doll's hair. You know, I did everything. I played football. Oh, that smells so good right there. Oh, yeah. But I did come here last summer, and I got a fish sandwich. And it had mold on the bread, so I don't know. But that, that seafood smells good, though. Let me some good seafood. <laughs> do not say I get wild, Ricardo. Don't do that. Don't say I get wild. I think I'm pretty tamed, if you ask me. They have a lot of liquor stores over here, just like the Upper East Side. People like to say, oh, they put a lot of liquor stores in the hood. No, liquor stores are everywhere. Them shits is everywhere, y'all. Anywhere where people are, there are people, there are liquor stores. It's about money, it ain't about race. Everything is not about race, you know. Some things is just about that money. Money. Get that money. <laughs> See, there's a McDonald's in the hood. There's a McDonald's in Upper East Side. Where's well, many McDonald's in Manhattan? I'm just coming out here to see what's popping because I would feel like I'd be far removed from my community living out there with all the dang on white people. So, it's hot. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry? That's coconut, right? Huh? You buy the coconut bullet Uh, Bedford Avenue. You just gotta go straight down and make a left on Bedford. There's a guy with a white truck. You'll see it because he has like sugar cane there, too. Uh, let me come here, come here, come here. Is it cold like this? <laughs> no, it's not. Like it's not that cold. <laughs> He's trying to speak again. These old cats out here, y'all. <laughs> Old school players, they know how to holler. And we know how to sit game out of one of them. I'm not really in the mood for that today. I'm not. Look at here. I'll be running from dudes, y'all. Like, no. <laughs> not gonna get me the cooties. <laughs> yeah, I'm too silly. I am on Fulton Street and Nostrand Avenue. This is in Brooklyn. I think this is called bed -Stuy. Is this bed -Stuy? The neighborhood, is it called bed -Stuy? The neighborhood, is it called bed -Stuy? Yeah. This is bed -Stuy. Uh Nostrand Avenue and Fulton Street. And Brooklyn, off the A train. Oh, can't get hit. But yeah, I like coming over here because they have a lot of stores, and I just feel like at home when I come over here. I feel at home. Um, I used to come over here a lot back when I first moved here, in 2014. It's really nice. You thought I looked familiar? Yeah, Safira, you don't remember, you used to follow me. Like, we used to, used to be on my live, and I definitely used to be on your live a lot. Before you had, um, did your time, you know? And, yeah, I think we're just like soul sisters. We resonate with each other. I think that's probably where we know each other from, but who knows, we could know each other from a past life, too. 
you love New York. Yeah. I love New York too. They're just so real. They're so down to earth. So friendly. And they're, they're very fun. New Yorkers are fun to be around. So that's why I made New York my home. You <laughs> say so you know me, girl. Okay. <laughs> oh, it looked familiar. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, this is New York. I don't know what that means with the um cat doing that. You say no Starbucks in the hood. Uh, it's Starbucks. I'm pretty sure it's probably a Starbucks over here. I don't really, I don't drink coffee, so I don't know. Yeah, there's Starbucks everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a Buddha. Yeah. Out here, people selling drinks and water. Do it in his own world back there. That's how I be. That's how I be sometimes in my own world. Not giving a damn. Drunk all this water. Drinking um, coconut. I got it from this guy on Bedford Avenue. And when I first met him, I think it was last year, I think it was my first time having a um, natural coconut. And then I told him that. He was like, Oh, really? Where are you from? I said, I'm from Florida. He was like, They got coconut down there for a dollar. This is eight dollars you sold it to me for. And I was like, well, yeah, you're right about that, because I remember. But there's certain parts. People when they think of before they think of like the tropics, palm trees, and all these tropical trees and stuff. But I'm from the hood in Florida. But we got palm trees too. But I'm from northeast Florida. Like the nice part I would say is like south. South Florida. Coconut. I'm almost done with it. I think I am done with it. And yo, this thing kind of heavy. It got some weight on it. I should come to Vegas. I did. I got to come back by myself, though. I was in a relationship. I was in love when I went to Vegas. It was, um, what the hell that shit was? 2000. Uh, that was just something. What we in 2021? It's like COVID kind of threw off the sense of time, didn't it? Because we missed the whole year of 2020. I think it was too. I moved to LA 2016. So yeah, 2017, I think it was, I went to um, Vegas. And that trip was horrible because I want my ex. That's a whole different story right there. A whole different story. It's a popular store called Mashu out here in Restoration Plaza in Brooklyn. They have like festivals. I be missing it though. They be going live. I'm like, damn, how the hell do I go? Because my ass all the way up there in Manhattan. I'll breathe. I need to move Brooklyn, y'all. That's where all the shit be happening at. High concentration of black people. So I be missing out on the festivities. No problem. They had a fashion show. Come on, shoot. He's an arm. Um, He's African, I believe, and he created his own like fashion line. And uh, he be hosting fashion shows, uniting the black community. You say, damn, it's the hood. I know, I like coming to the hood. It's just so earthly. So.
so, you know. So be. It's some cute guys and girl. It is some fine. Cute ain't even a word. It be some fine niggas up here. They host us too. They work hard. But you'll be in the day smoking around with New York dude, so I had to chill out. When I moved back to New York last year, I had my fun, you know, I had to chill out. favorite stores here. I've been spending a while since I've been here. Hello. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This was last year. Because this was before I think I signed my lease where I am now. This was last year. I signed my lease on Upper East Side on, um, yeah, that was like in, uh, what was that? October, right? October 1st. So this was like before October last year. I don't think this place is occupied. It was like, hurry up. They're going to go. They're going to go fast. I forget how much you said. Oh, yeah, they definitely overpriced. I mean, but they trying to, you know, they trying to so-called uplift the neighborhood, as they say. Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's pretty, oh, let me uh, fill up the camera. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Little tricks. Um, oh yeah, this is where I actually posted up at. I just remember now, I think. Right here. Wow, the place looks a little different. I was right here. This is where I posted up at recruiting participants for my dissertation research study. I was right here, I think. Somewhere like right here. Yeah. yeah New York definitely has a burst of talent. A lot of it is hidden too, unfortunately. So many people here with talent, right? It's just it's crazy. Ricardo, have you been to New York? Oh, fumble. I almost dropped this thing. I got good reflexes, though. I got for good reflexes. I love that store, Nicholas Brooklyn, though. It's like really an important staple in our um, in the black community, though. The owner, she's doing a really good job with that. She got several locations, too. One I just discovered the other day, I didn't even know. I was like, wait, this is Nicholas Brooklyn? So she has a location out in uh, Harlem. Actually, she got a few in Harlem. Jamaicans, they took me out like Rasta. I love that. Empress, thank you. It's like Empress. <laughs> they swear up and down that I'm Rasta. I'm like, what's up? All right. So, I'm about to go ahead and end this video.